My quest for understanding about a topic on all football fans' minds brought me here to the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, where I got a very special meeting with someone who just might have answers. Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Hello, Neil. Yeah, how you doing, man? It's great to see uh, yeah, you. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for joining me in my, my cosmic enclave. I think there's no greater display of terrestrial physics than a game of football. There's kinetic energy, there's potential energy, there's inertia. And I always wondered, do the coaches, do the players, are they thinking about physics? Because if they did, you could become a better player and even a better team. Hertz lines them up. They sneak, they push, and they score! Touchdown! You live life with people going around asking you questions about everything in the universe. I'm asking you today, can we figure out a way to stop the Eagles at the goal line? I don't know if I have a counter to it, but I can explain definitely why it works. When the Eagles line up for the tush push, uh -huh. everybody knows what's about to happen. You just pause for a moment right here, just pause. The Eagles have the advantage because they're hiking, and no one on the Chiefs can move uh -huh. until after the Eagles move. Mm -hmm. And so the Eagles get like a quarter second head start mm -hmm. in momentum transfer, mm. okay? So the Eagles are already in motion. They are using Earth as a launch point for their movement. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you run the math on this, yeah. Every time the eagle runs this play, it slightly changes the rotation of the earth. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. Are I'm you just, kidding I'm me? Just, I'm just telling you. Tell <laughs> me more. One of Newton's laws yes. is for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. reaction. You cannot just propel yourself forward right. unless something comes out the other side. As they are digging into the earth, mm -hmm. earth is responding to them by having its rotation rate changed because they're bracing themselves against the rotating Earth. We don't think about it that way, yes. but that's exactly what's happening here. That's where they get the traction. We think about it that way now. That just blew my mind. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So now, if I'm on the opposing team, I wanna jump over you. Because mm -hmm. the quarterback is ready to come over. Mm -hmm. So I jump over you, and you know what happens if you jump over? You're no longer connected to the Earth. So that's a disadvantage. Yes! If you're not connected to the Earth, you've got nothing to press against. And I know this because I used to wrestle. Okay. Okay. How's that fit? Can I show you something real quick? You want to show yeah, me a yeah, wrestling no, move? No, well, it's not the whole move. So we're here, <laughs> oh right? Okay. I'm holding on to Earth. Okay. So are you. Yeah. Right? Until this happens. What are we doing? Oh, okay. I'm flying. <laughs> when this happens, you got nothing. You have your body weight. Jalen Hurts here, number one, notoriously a very strong squatter, can squat 600 pounds, and people say, well, that's why it works no, for them. Is that true? It is irrelevant in why? this play. Really? Because he's airborne. He's got two pushers here, yeah. one on each butt cheek, hence the tush push. The force equals the mass. mass times acceleration. Times the acceleration. And what that means is the bigger the mass, mm -hmm. the bigger the force you will need to create the acceleration the guys who are connected to the Earth, their mass includes that of the Earth mm. because they're attached to the Earth, okay? And so if these guys want to press against them, yes. they have to press not only their own body weight, but their the, the ability of the Earth to hold them in place. Dr. Tyson, re remind me the mass of the Earth. Uh, let me, give me a second. Here he goes. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Huge. <laughs> I'm going to say the obvious. Okay. That is an extremely effective play. And I heard rumor that NFL might want to ban it. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. No. You celebrate mm -hmm. that the ingenuity, the physical prowess of a team, of a player, uh, of, of a coach, has risen above the din of other efforts to accomplish the same thing, and now you want to penalize that? That's wrong. I've thought long and hard about whether you can defend against that. Mm -hmm. And I haven't come up with a 
I, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. If I can get cosmic on you just for a minute. Please do. Yeah, just, there's certain phenomena in the universe that once they pass a tipping point, there is no stopping. You know, there's stars that explode mm -hmm. and nothing can stop them. We call them supernovae. We can see them across the universe. That's how bright they are. A black hole, when it forms, it forms, and you're not stopping that. No, no known force in the universe can stop it. That is an, an inevitable consequence of that scenario. Mm -hmm. And what I'm telling you now is when the eagles line up in the tush-push configuration, two men behind the quarterback, one on, ready for each butt cheek, mm -hmm. just hang it up. Take it. Take it. Take the six. Just six and move, let's move on. Unbelievable. This man has devoted his life to answering the most difficult questions in the universe. And his answer to how do you stop the tush push, I don't <laughs> know. I don't. <laughs>